Hey everyone, welcome back to Adventures in Sunhaven. What do we have today? Ah, another beautiful morning. Wait, what's that? A voice on the wind? Ship ho! It's a big one too. Woo, way boy. Was that Peter the fisherman's voice? It sounded like it came from the beach docks. Maybe you should go check it out. It could be danger, or candy, or something cool like that. Okay. We'll quickly start by getting our crops watered, and then we will have to go investigate. Now, for those of you that haven't seen... My partner and I have decided to do some competitive Sunhaven. And what we classify as competitive for Sunhaven is challenging ourselves to go into the mines and see who can craft the set of armor the fastest. So our first episode is based on all of the copper armor and which one of us could do that the fastest. Now we're both playing on the exact same file. So we're both in the mine at the same time, trying to see which of us could get the copper the fastest. <laughs> so it makes for quite an interesting challenge. And that makes 40 wheat. Let's see what Anne has to say now. Got it. All right. Finally, Finally got our 40 wheat. That is accomplishment right there. <laughs> and then we will see if we can get a copper watering can today because we have definitely been needing that. All right, and little weedy, we're going to have to say good morning. Oh, water. Let's say hi to weedy on the way back. There we go. Lots of love. And our wonderful little scarecrow keeping all of our little pests away. Oof, there's a lot of watering to do. But we are completing parts of our museum by growing some of these crops. Plus, we're trying to grow some extras so we can do some cooking, which is also pretty exciting. That we'll get to hopefully get started in that pretty soon. Oh. One more time. Here we go. And there we are. I think we got it all. Okay, looks like we have also finished crafting a baker station. So let's go put that up here next to our crafting pot. Maybe we'll just pile it all up here. Perfect. And what can we do in here? dough, noodles, we can make our own animal food. Oh, we can make our own sugar and butter. Bunch of spices and goodies and cake mixes and pie crust, ice cream base. This could be pretty interesting. All right. Is there anything else in here we can craft? We need to make some more planks. Probably going to have to chop down some more wood at some point. And our bars. And we can do it. A copper watering can for us. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Say hi to little Weedy. Let's go and sell our rusty watering can right now so it can just be gone out of our inventory. We're on to bigger and better things now. Did we not sell all of our fish last time? Oh, I think we ran out of time before we could do that. So let's just get rid of those now. Give ourselves the inventory space. And our watering can is just about done. Oh, we're excited. We're just hopping around in excitement. So close. Say hi to Weedy again. He likes all the little pets. Oh, <laughs> All right. Watering can complete. This is exactly what we wanted. Okay. Now, when they said the beach docks, I don't know if that means that 
it also refers to the bit of area south of our farm but we will go take a look let's get an oven crafting while we are out venturing around okay oh it looks like there's a bunch more dandelions that we haven't dealt with yet i guess we can pick some of this stuff up too on our way level 14 exploration that means we are that much closer to hitting level 15 in a skill uh, yeah, let's carry on with the cooking recipes. It's so nice to get exploration points just for picking stuff up off of the ground. Okay, now let's see if it was talking about this dock. Nope. So we will actually have to venture out to the beach. So let's go take a look at that. We can check the bulletin board on our way. <laughs> And here we go. And bulletin board, what do we have today? A chocolate milk stand, 10 wooden planks. Well, we can probably make that happen. And five stone, well, we can definitely make that one happen. <laughs> All right, is the doctor just chilling out up here? No, let's check our map. Okay, it looks like everybody we need is in the general vicinity, so let's do that right now. Looks like Anna's in the general store. Oh, there she is. And let's talk to her. Hmm, you actually went and harvested all that wheat? I was only being playful when I told you to do that. But I see you're pretty serious about this farming business. Speaking of business, I have some of my own to tend to, so I'll cut the congratulations short. Don't be a stranger, though. Maybe you and I can work together sometime, eh? See ya. Okay, farming skill tone, exploration, fishing. You know what? We could really use some increased combat. Oh, we got farming boost for that, too. Okay. And... Oh. Let's do the farming. Okay, we got cooking recipes there. And I believe we had decided that we were going to go for the beekeeper so we can do a bee box. Okay, and while we're in the menu, we should also do the combat skill tome, which I think we had to do up there. Okay, one skill point for combat. And let's just carry on by increasing our attack damage. Any little bit helps when we are in the mines. That is another interesting thing about... Oh, we were going to go see the doctor before we get carried away here. Um, so that's one other interesting thing about our competitive Sunhaven. My partner decided he wanted to go with a crossbow, and I stuck with my sword. And it's very interesting to see how different or how much a different weapon actually affects <laughs> how well you progress in the mine. <laughs> I took a lot of damage and uh, he really didn't. I wasn't sure how well I could play with a crossbow, but I'm kind of wishing I had maybe tried that route. <laughs> Perhaps we'll do a weapon exchange or build or buy ourselves a crossbow and try it out. Because to me, it was looking like that might be a nice, easy beginner level weapon. I thought the sword would be pretty good, but I mean, I have played with a sword before and done just fine. But I tell you, that crossbow, it it seemed to make quite a bit of a difference, so I'll have to see if that's his level of skill or just the weapon. <laughs> All right, we are at the beach. So what is going on here? Oh, there's Peter. 
Hey, oh hey there. I was just announcing an incoming ship. It's kinda my job to officially announce incoming ships to dock, ya you know? No, we don't know. It ain't his job. He just likes doing it. Haha, <laughs> the truth comes out. Yeah, well, someone's got to do it. May as well be me. Oh, um, it looks like the ship is coming in. Ooh, that is a big ship. <laughs> is this it? I believe so, Lord Shang. Our navigator has never been wrong. Hey there, can we help you? Uh, natives. They should be able to clear this up. Clear what up? This land we have docked in. What is its name? This is Sunhaven. Excellent. Dewey's hang? Dewey... Oh my, we're not even going to try. Secure the ship with the rest of the crew. From now on, I'll be continuing my mission alone. Keep my cabin clean. I'll be returning for meals and sleep. Yes, my lord. Hi there, are you going to stay in Sunhaven? Hmm, out of my way, please. Talk about a capital J kind of jerk. Park his big old boat at my dock and then waltzes in like he owns the place. It ain't your dock. Docks belongs to the town. Bah, well, whatever. It's not in my shop's way at any rate. All right, we have options. Uh... Well, that was weird. Neat ship, though. Sure. Uh-huh. Well, I guess as long as he ain't here to invade Sunhaven, I got no reason to worry about it. Back to fishing for me. Okay, well, that was interesting. Oh, we can talk to that guy. Uh, yeah, what's that you want? I'm Pip. You're part of Shang's crew, aren't you? That's right. I'm here to make sure Lord Shang gets his work done and that he stays safe and well served while he's at it. Okay, see you. Can we investigate the ship? Oh, interesting. Can we go in here? Oh. You need to be better friends with Shang to enter. Okay. What about down here? Ooh, neat. This was not part of the early access when I played. So that is all pretty new and interesting. Cool. All right. So now that we have gotten that out of the way, plus we have a copper watering can. Uh, how high up was our combat? Level five. Okay. So we have equipped some armor, which is good. Uh, we still, today's the last day for the hot sauce. So I guess we'll try one more attempt at this. <laughs> Uh, at least then we can say we have fully tried. Oh boy. Okay. That that one wasn't so bad. Oh. <clears throat> okay, I think the skill increases and the armor has definitely helped here. Okay. But I don't think these are the enemies that were going to potentially drop the hot sauce. However, it wouldn't hurt if we could level up a bit more. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Oof. 
Woo hoo hoo, that was close. Ooh. Combat, not my strong suit in this game. But that's okay. We'll just do what we can. Okay, we have level six combat now. So we're getting up there. Okay, now we can increase our armor. So yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Every little bit is going to help here. Ooh, ouch. Green pepper flakes, okay. It looks like we only get experience points when we finish off an enemy. So just doing damage to them isn't counting. Okay, that is good to know. Woo, they're snapping. Whew, you might as well be called snapping turtles, my goodness. Okay, let's see what else is over here. Feeling a little bit more confident now. Not like super confident, but... Oh, these... Oh, oh my. Elite. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, those big things were what we need to get rid of for the... For the hot sauce. Oh, yeah, that big thing is staying there. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that... That's a little too uh, high of a level for us to contend with. Okay. So I think our plan is going to be uh, going into the mines and we'll get more copper. Too bad they couldn't have asked for those green pepper flakes that we got, but oh well, we are, we're going to fail that quest, but you know, it, it happens. We tried, and uh, then we got scared and ran. And, you know, sometimes you just got to know when to run. <laughs> we could have stayed and fought. Oh, who's this cute little guy down here? Harold. Oh, no, I knew I shouldn't have left out my fishing nets over the winter. They got lost in the snow, and I can't find them anywhere. My dad is going to really grill me for this one. Oh, I feel bad for him, and we didn't even get, like, an option to help. Well, that's kind of sad. It would be nice if we could help him somehow. All right, to mining we will go. And it's still early in spring. We have to uh, remember that we're going to have to start donating a little bit of time to doing some fishing so we can catch those spring fish. And I know that fishing in different areas will give us access to different kinds of fish around Sunhaven. So we'll kind of have to fish in the ocean and in the pond and in some rivers perhaps. We'll figure it out. All right. We have unlocked up to floor six. That's pretty good. And I don't think we have any keys. We don't. That's okay. Get some copper. We'll get some combat maybe. Oof. Oh, man. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so, how painful is it watching me try to uh, do some combat? <laughs> it's okay if it's painful. I understand. <laughs> or, you know, if it is wildly entertaining, that is okay, too. Okay. Oh, two more. Oh, oh, fishing rod is not going to help the situation at all. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can just kind of whack them through here. Okay, there we go. We're we're taking the coward's way out. I'm totally okay with doing that. You know, 
it's just, yeah. Gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I'm pretty sure we can craft ourselves a crossbow at, I think it was the farm table. So we'll have to check that out a little later. Maybe when we go back to the farm and see what we all need for that. More defense, you betcha, extra plating. And yeah, we're gonna have to start doing some of that too. And we could also unlock the fireball and that would give us some ranged attack. Okay. I would say we need to get a better weapon too, but I'm pretty sure in order to get a better sword, we would need better combat anyway, kind of like with the armor. Just because you can craft it doesn't mean you can use it. Okay, and we haven't found a rusty key at all either, so we're just going to have to keep breaking some rocks open. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, there we go. A key with a piece of sapphire. Not bad. And unlock. Yes, please. Floor number seven. So if any of you guys have played Sunhaven, tell me what is your favorite part of Sunhaven? Like, do you have a skill that you enjoy unlocking more than others? Do you prefer just doing the farming? Are you more interested in the combat and the mining? Do you like crafting? How about decorating? I'm quite certain there are a lot of decoration options for Sunhaven, different road paths and stuff like that that we'll be able to craft. I know we saw some of it in the furniture table. So at some point, we are going to have to venture into the decoration area a little bit, which will be quite interesting, I must say. I haven't done a ton of decorating in games before, but I am excited to give it a whirl. So if you guys have any tips or pointers for decorating, feel free to tell me. I'm always interested to hear what you guys have to say. And we need a rusty key. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, another sapphire and some coal. Okay. Oh, there's our rusty key. Let's get the experience. Woohoo! Okay, level 13 mining. So close to level 14. The race is on for what skill we unlock first. Like, it is close. Okay, we have hit the lava floors. <laughs> um, for any of you wondering, not my favorite area. <laughs> Why is it not my favorite area? Jumping across all of the platforms is uh, sometimes a little tricky. The spacing between them is sometimes bigger or shorter and some of them are just hard to jump to. It's like a challenge in itself. So <laughs> I, uh, whoops, helps if I have my weapon selected there. Um, yeah, I have sometimes passed out, fainted, whatever the terminology you wish to use. I've ended up in the hospital after uh, trying and failing to jump to certain platforms. That was a little embarrassing. <laughs> okay, we made it. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, if you were trying to like speed jump across platforms, it sometimes gets a little tricky. The more platforms, the more interesting it gets. Okay. Oh, level 14 mining. There we go. And, oh yes, we were wanting to get extra ore. 
And then we'll probably go to the chance for extra bars. Because that one is pretty good too. Okay, let's see if we can hop our way back without an incident. Oh, there we go. Okay, now this side is a bit more interesting because the platforms go a little up and a little down. And we just about tried to battle the steel slugs with a fishing rod again. <laughs> okay. And now to find us a key. Now, again, the nice part about Sunhaven is you can just hold your mouse button or controller button down and your character will just keep whacking things and you can just kind of move them a little bit and away you go. So it's not a full finger clicking, button clicking type of thing, which is kind of nice. And I'm surprised we did not hit the lava there. <laughs> go us. <laughs> Rusty key and Floor number nine. When I first started playing Sunhaven, I like lived in the mines. I was so determined to get to the bottom of the mine. <laughs> I spent a lot of my time just mining. I got like caught up in it. Like I wanted to see what was in the next couple of floors. I'd get to floor 10 and it was like, oh, cool what's level 11 to 20 like and it kind of just spooled off from there and yeah I was uh fairly high skilled in mining by the time I actually went and did more of the storyline but you know that has its pros and cons because getting through other parts of the game was a little easier because I spent so much time in the mine that I got to also increase my combat at the same time so it made battling enemies later on in the game a bit easier because I had good armor and good weapons and higher skill levels and lots of my skill tree unlocked and <laughs> it was just good all right we found some iron finally on this floor and I see we got our rusty key and as I've said before, I'm not like a big fan of all the platforms. If I don't know if you can see, but they kind of do a nice little S curve off to the side there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm not too interested in trying to jump through all that. <laughs> but you know, if you enjoy the platform jumping, have at it. Like, <laughs> I struggle doing that many platforms all in a row. Okay, level 10, and that means the next floor will be a treasure floor. And that also means we need to start crafting more keys. Okay, more iron ore, so that is fantastic. Whoops, help if we actually break the right rock there. Okay. Oh, we gotta stop running from these guys. We we just we need to be able to get the experience, or we're just, you know, it's it's gotta happen. <laughs> we'll just try to do it as safely as possible for our poor little character. <laughs> there we go. Okay, this should be a ruby. Perfect. And a break pot. Okay, more little buggies. Not as many hiding places here. That's okay. Wow, combat level eight. Okay, we're suddenly like rolling in the combat, which is great. We definitely need it. Okay. Do, do, do. It wasn't until I started recording and playing back the recording and doing some editing that I realized how many times I use the word okay and all right to the point where I'm like 
it's a little overdone. Maybe, Pip, you need to find a new word <laughs> or words for that matter. There we go. We have level 15 exploration that ended up being the one. Listen to my words, Pip. You're not going to take us out of the mine, are you? I can sense your power growing. Your service to Sunhaven has been notable. But today, the safety of Sunhaven depends on you. Um, I'm on my way. Is it going to pull us out of the mine? It looks like we're on a good floor and we're almost at the treasure floor. <gasps> okay. I'm on my way. Farewell, Pip. Okay, good. We're, we're still okay here. <laughs> I was a little scared we were going to get pulled out of the mine there. Uh, what was this one? Oh, more money. Okay. Uh, extra silk or jumping higher or increase the amount of logs dropped. Well, let's get some extra logs while we're at it. Oh. Um, hello. Coal, please. Thank you. And another ruby for us. Oh my goodness. I did not pay attention to the time. Oh, we have to run. We, okay, break it. Break it and run. Break it and run. Oh my goodness. Uh, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. We may end up passing out here. <laughs> oh no. Just eek. So we are not going to have enough time to check and see what we need for the crossbow because we will be lucky if we even make it back. Oh, we're like out of mana. Oh, oh. <laughs> and this is probably one of those times where you can go, hmm, maybe you should put your house a little bit closer to the entrance. Hmm. <laughs> I think we're going to end up passing out in the yard here. I don't know if we can make it. Okay, we might make it. We might barely make it. Okay, we're going home sweet home. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, I did not think that was going to happen. We made it. <laughs> All right. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, please feel free to subscribe and or leave a like. As always, I love having you guys follow along with me and I'll see you next time.